Bit of shaky phone footage on this one. So, just uh, come up here this morning having a bit more play about the compressor. So, I've now, instead of this being connected to my signal generator, my loudspeaker is coming in here. Uh, this connection here, instead of connecting here like this, uh, the actual signal just from my phone there is <clears throat> going into that now. So it, it's no longer connected here. Phone signal's going in there, signal to the amp. It's coming out of there to the amp over there. So yellow is what's coming out of the amp. And blue is the signal that's coming in, which is what's going to be compressed. So yellow is the speaker output. Blue's coming in. So you can see amp turned down, plenty of signal on there. So I've got the depth on this turned right up. You'll see what will happen. So this is a 50 millivolt scale on the blue, uh, 500 millivolt scale on the yellow. So as I start turning it up, so I'm just getting. So you'll see in a second when it tries to kick in. So that's now just tweaking the compressor, but what is I start turning the amp up? Turn the amp flat out, you can see all that's happened is the blue signal. So if I start turning the amp back down, the amp stays the same volume because the compressors are flat out. So if I turn the depth down a bit. You can see the point at which the depth control can no longer be effective because the voltage on this will rise. So, so that's just about on the compressor. I can't really tell by ear, but if I start cranking it up, so I notice I've turned the volume up, but it's not really got any louder. However, I can keep going. It's working exactly as it should. So yeah, it doesn't sound nasty or anything. It sounds very transparent to be honest. It's a very, it's a very transparent sounding compressor. Yes. Sorry if our phone footage is a bit dodgy there. Everything's sort of out of, um, not exactly in reach perfectly here, but um, yeah, I think um, changes to make. I uh, might lower that a bit, maybe 47k or so, just speed the decay up a small amount. And um, probably put 1k in there just to slow down the attack time. That'll also, when it's, if you notice on the last video, there was times when it was sort of the waveform was wobbling. That's because this LED. Um, still kind of pulses it still takes the op amps limited charging ability it takes some amount of time to charge the cap up and it will just sort of end up in a with the time constants of the ldr responding and the op amps and the cap and everything you sort of end up with the led when you looked at it you can see it's sort of pulsing a bit and just adding a 1k resistor in series with that diode will just slow that pulsing down it will end up much smoother um it just not quite so hard an attack, 1k is going to make very little time to the attack, but uh, it will make it just behave a bit better, but yeah, concept and proof of concept, so yeah, all working as intended, excellent, uh, so that's that's one part of the guitar amp sorted out, um, yeah, now to carry on designing the rest of it.